Hey everyone, this is Tanvir back with another Linux of customization video and today I will customize Ubuntu 25.04. So let's just start this customization and you have already seen the end results and I hope you liked it. So let's go ahead and start the customization. So go to my downloads directory and here I have the project file. You can find the link of the project file down in the description of this video. And thank you so much, guys. As I always say, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for getting the membership. I really, really appreciate this, guys. All right, so after you get the project file, let's just quickly extract it and then go inside the project file. And basically, uh, what I'm going to do is run the script. So, right click on an empty space and click on open in terminal. And then, before I run the script, I need to make the script executable first. So, for that, type chmod plus x and then type script.sh and then to run the script type dot slash script.sh all right so what this script will do is it will install all the necessary packages that we will need to customize the desktop yeah guys so let's just wait for it to finish again guys thank you so much for getting the membership if you got the membership you can have access to all the older files that i have already uploaded and you're going to have access to the newer ones that I will upload in the future as well. So thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate this. So let's just wait for it to finish. And then I will show you the rest of the process. Press enter on your terminal. So while it is doing its work, let's just click on this download link text file that I provided inside that project file. And then simply copy and paste all of these things inside your browser and then simply download the themes so open the browser and let's just quickly download all of these themes So I can close the text file and then simply download all of these themes. So first I will download the GTK theme. So click on files and then scroll down and I will simply download this one, this third one, light, hard, borderless. So click on it, then download the icon pack, download the font click on this download button and let's go ahead and download this other fonts as well and finally click on evolve core so I will use this application to apply the themes okay so let's download the GTK theme click on download and the icon pack All right, now I can close the browser. All right, so before I show you the rest of the process, let's just wait for it to finish. And by the way, guys, your work in the terminal is pretty much done. You don't have to do anything else in the terminal. So yeah, guys. All right, guys, now I can close the terminal and then go to downloads directory. And here let's go ahead and extract all of these zip files extract them and i will open a new window for the home directory and from here i'll click on the drop down menu and then click on show hidden files all right so once i have extracted all of these files i can delete these zip files And now I will simply move the GTK themes folder to the dot themes over here, which is these are. So let's just go ahead and drag and drop inside the dot themes. And I will do the same for the icon pack. Just simply drag and drop inside the dot icons which you will find inside the home directory. 
and then I will install the fonts so click on install and wait till it shows installed and then you can close the window okay now I will search for extension manager and then go to browse and then I will install a bunch of extensions okay so the first one is upgrade button in top panel which is this one click on install and the next one is called app icons taskbar click on install and after that I will install battery time with percentage so click on install so this will show the battery percentage as well the next one is called blur my shell and after that I'll install current workspace name then QE and after that move workspace indicator then panel workspace scroll so if I move the cursor to the top panel and I use the scroll wheel on my mouse that way I can actually move or switch between the workspaces so that is what that extension will do and after that let's install transparent top bar and you're gonna install this one adjustable transparency click on install and then user themes And finally, we shall. Alright, guys, after I have installed all the extensions, let's go to the project file again. Okay. Go inside the project file, right click on an empty space, and then open a terminal. And then this time I will run the script. First of all, let's type ls and let's go ahead and run run the script. Copy. Copy the name and then just simply paste it. Press enter. So this will simply restore, I mean, apply all of the extensions settings to the desktop. Okay. Next, I'll search for applications startup applications and then click on add and then I will name it U and then go to downloads and go to my project file and then select uopener.sh click on open click on add so this will make the U widgets run every time you start your PC and now the next thing that I will do is actually let's go to the extension manager again and transparency 
all right blur my shell go to panel and this looks all right all right guys so the next thing that i will do is go to downloads and then go to evolve core and then run the evolve core application and then simply change the theme the gtk theme and then you can go to icons and select group box plus light actually select dark uh, group box plus dark okay so finally i'm going to restart now all right guys so now i'm at the login screen and inside the login screen click on the username and then click on this um, gear icon at the right um, right bottom corner and then select ubuntu on xorg simply select that one that is because you we just actually run on xorg so that is why we selected xorg now let's just log in and the top panel is actually not looking that good so let's go to the extension manager and yeah this click on this uh gear icon next to the transparent top bar adjustable transparency and then make the opacity to zero like that yeah and now we're good to go and another thing that i forgot to do and that is i actually need to scroll down and then dislike this ubuntu dock okay so it's looking good so let's go ahead and uh, click on this button on the left side okay so as you can see guys once i click on this button so it applied the themes i mean not the themes the the conky theme and the wallpaper and the next thing that i will do is search for menu editor actually search for menu editor and then on this um, i'm going to change this icon for firefox and a bunch of other icons because these are not looking that good so i'll simply search for firefox click on the icon then click on browse icons and search firefox here as well okay and then click on save so this will change the firefox icon let's do the same for app sender all right guys so this is it this is the final look and uh let me show you how glava visualizer works and by the way before i show you how the glava visualizer works let me just quickly sh show you how to change the theme for u launcher so this is the button to launch the u launcher then click on this gear icon and then select the theme and then you can close the window so this is the u launcher you can click on this button and you can type anything and search anything any application and this is for the glava visualizer so clicking on this button will turn on the glava visualizer and if you click on the button again it's gonna turn off the visualizer so let me just quickly play something and show you how it works so let's just play something and by the way you can actually change the theme for your browser as well so let's just quickly do that click on install click on add okay so i have added a theme for the glava uh, i mean uh, for firefox now let's go ahead and play something okay now let's click on this glava button and you will see that this is our visualizer this looks pretty cool and um, i actually do not recommend it to run it all the time because it takes up quite some processing power as you can see so you can turn it off anytime so just click on this button and as you can see that uh, it went down so yeah guys and uh, these are the buttons you can click on these buttons and it's gonna change the workspace so let's say 
if I open a window here okay so I can open a window here and then I can go to the second workspace and open another file explorer so this is the first one this is the second one let's say uh, let's go to the terminal so you can switch the between the workspace or you can scroll uh, your scroll wheel uh, on your mouse you can use that to actually switch between the workspaces if you go to the top bar move your cursor to the top bar and just use the scroll wheel and it's gonna change the workspaces for us now since I opened the terminal let's go ahead and quickly do a little bit of customization here so I can hide the scroll bar and then go to colors maybe change uh, the color palette a little bit for the text and maybe make it a bit small and make the font a bit smaller like this and let's see how it looks now so yeah guys it looks pretty good i guess you can install btop and then run the btop make the terminal a little bit bigger and then press m go to option then change the theme let's say this one so yeah guys you can so this b top now you can go to workspace third workspace and do something here all right guys so this is it i hope this video is helpful and i hope you like the customization and thank you so much guys thank you so so much for getting the membership and for all the donations i really appreciate this guys this really helps me a, a lot uh, and yeah guys uh, i'll come up with more customization ideas in the future so thank you so much and i will see you in the next video